Alright guys, what you're looking at here is a very familiar sight to me from my past. It's been about 10 years or so since I've had a working David Bradley in this yard. At one time, I was quite into them. I had six or eight of them uh, at one time, doing everything you can imagine. So anyway, a neighbor calls me up today, asked me to come over and help him put a fuel pump in his uh, Kubota tractor. Well, I went over and I did it for him. He said to me, what do I owe you? And I said, you don't owe me nothing. But what are you doing with that David Bradley you got over there before the barn, behind the barn? He says, you want it, it's yours. And that was the deal. I fixed his Kubota tractor. And I got me a new old David Bradley. It's complete. Original tires. Original chains. Original plow. I'm not sure about the motor yet. It is a Briggs. Okay, and it's a... Should I get this hood off here one-handed? Uh, it's a Briggs 3 horsepower. Briggs and Stratton. And uh, it's not frozen. But uh, it's not running either. It's been sitting for... He told me at least 10 years. But it's not frozen. So, this will be the next rescue deal here. I will definitely be rescuing this David Bradley. No question about it. This baby's going to be coming back to life if I have to change the motor. I don't care. If you've never seen my old videos on the David Bradleys, go back and put in, just put in David Bradley tractor, and you'll see what I'm talking about. I've had just about every one that they had, including the Suburbans. And, um, and I eventually moved on to the farm holes. But I loved them. They're great tractors. They're unbelievably powerful. And uh, so I didn't think I'd ever find another one uh, sitting in my yard. I got my oldest one over there. has no motor in it. That's just sitting there as lawn art, I'm afraid to say. But this one here is complete. Like I said, original everything. And uh, even the clips on the hood. That's something you hardly ever see. So, we're going to uh, be tinkering with this when we have time. And uh, eventually I'll uh, be doing uh, videos of it as we go along. Alright guys, one good turn deserves another. You help, help out a neighbor and you never know what's going to happen. I never expected to come home with a David Bradley tractor today, so... Life is good. Alright guys, a closer look at this tractor. Okay. Very happy to find out that serial number 9175751. And I knew that was familiar to me. Because I recalled in the past having two of them. And uh, I actually did a video on it. I'll put a link to it. This is one of the first David Bradley's made. One of the first. Actually, it, it is uh, the first number. The David Bradley serial. Uh, the um, five seven five ones were made, I believe, in 1946 and 1949. Okay. Uh, this one has the original Briggs engine, which I believe makes it um, probably of, uh, 47 to 49. I gotta check that out for sure. The original ones had the Continental engine. So, this is quite the find, actually. It's amazing. This found my, its way to my door after all these years. It's been over 10 years since I've worked on a David Bradley. Like I said, I was, at one time was a David Bradley nut. And, um, so, that's what we got here. We got a 1946 to 49 David Bradley tractor. I was told it's been sitting for about 10 years or so untouched, other than the hood. He repainted the hood, obviously, very recently, actually. Uh, I just had it out there as lawn art, so I decided to spray paint the hood. The hood is in perfect shape. It really is. It's incredible. Um... Actually, the whole tractor is. 
this is just surface rust on here. But um, it's got all the telltale signs of the 46 to 49, all of them. The uh, three nut and bolt wheels, the straight connectors. In the back there, you see that rod underneath? That's a, um, it looks like a piece of rebar, but it's not. It's actually a support for the engine. And, uh, It's it's not in bad shape at all. Original nub ties, original chains. You can tell that's David Bradley original pulley there. So we'll be going over this and checking it out and seeing if that engine will run or not. Uh, if not, we'll swap it, but. I have a funny feeling that engine just might run. And uh, we'll be opening it up and checking it out very soon. Alright fellas, thanks for watching. Welcome to comments, as always. Alright, book them, Daniel.